Well, we mean how the Dons defender Joe Lewis, a hard-earned point here this afternoon. To be honest, though, it could have been all three for us. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're right. It is a hard-earned point. Um, did well to get ourselves back in the game, but I think there is a degree of, of maybe disappointment that we didn't go on and win it. Um, I think we were more than capable of, of taking three points of that game, which I think is just testament to the ambition really now within the squad. Really were the better side out there in the second half, I thought. Absolutely, yeah. I think we were we were better side in the second half, and I think we were right in it as well in the first half. We came in at half time and just, I mean, I think the, the consensus throughout the whole team and, and with the staff as well was we were right in the game. We felt that throughout the whole group. So we just went back out in the second half and gave it everything. And, and like I said, we got back in the game, maybe slightly disappointed not to take three points. Sponsors man of the match today, James Tilly, your penalty getting us a point here this afternoon. To be honest, it could have been all three, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely. As we said after the game, we were a bit disappointed in there um, that we didn't take all three, but. Uh, there was a lot of positives out there, so we've got to take that on to the next game now. Really purposeful start for us in both halves this afternoon. Yeah, definitely. That's what sort of what we've been uh, building on in pre-season, and that starting strong, uh, getting that team straight away. And um, I think it showed out there. I think we were uh, unlucky to be one 0 down, um, and in the end, not to take all three points. So. Kept it really tight at the back again this afternoon. But what were your thoughts on their goal? Um, uh, deflection, really. I think. Sass probably saves it comfortably if there isn't a deflection at the same time. I think usually you'd back yourself to get that away, but they do happen. Um, but like you said, really solid performance again um, from goalkeeper back four and then the rest of the team as well. I think we're a really solid group off the ball, very very compact and everyone's good at defending, so we did well there. What did you make of their goal? Because it kind of came against the run of play really, didn't it? Yeah, definitely against the run of play. I think it took a deflection as well, so it's a bit... I was like a lucky one, really, but yeah, we were disappointed to go in one 0 down, but we we fought back second half and managed to rescue a point. That shows the togetherness within the squad, and that we responded quickly, got back on with the task at hand. Yeah, definitely. I think there's we all feel it in there. There's a massive togetherness with the staff, the players, um, and I think that's really important. Um, and you can see it out on the pitch as well. So yeah, it's been good. And that's the second successive Saturday that unfortunately Ali's had a penalty saved, but we had a second go. James Tilly converting this time. Yeah, great penalty from Tills. I think um, the impact that Ali's having on games really is is, is far more important than than, than anything else. Um, he's always a threat in behind, threat to feet, great on the ball. Um, I don't think, well, in my opinion, penalties can be a bit of a lottery sometimes. There's not too much thinking to, to go into those, in my opinion. He, he's been outstanding uh, when he's been on the pitch the last three games. Also spoke to Joe Lewis today as well, and the fact that, I mean, Ali, OK, he had his penalty saved, but he offers so much more to the team than oh. just that. Yeah, definitely. He's obviously an unbelievable player. Um, I'm more like a guy for him that he missed his penalty today, but um, he's going to score loads this season. So, yeah. So come on, take us through it. How how the decision was made that you were going to take it this time round, second time round. Well, I think I, I just wanted it. I wanted when we won that pen, I wanted it. Um, and Brownie took the ball. To be fair, and he did. He just he said to me, "Did you do it? Do you want it?" And um, yeah, I was confident going going to take it. So going forward, is that is that something that we'll have to sort of sort out in the dressing room? I guess now, yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll just see. We'll see what what's what ne whenever whenever we win a pen next. What did you make of the atmosphere out there? The stuff that was cracking, wasn't it? Yeah, it was absolutely bouncing. Uh, I think we expected it after Wednesday, um, and and to a degree the weekend before as well. I think we're we're we're, we're showing um, our fans what what really capable of this season, and and they're getting behind us brilliantly. The atmosphere was absolutely brilliant out there. Um, really pushed us on, and it does play a major part. Oh yeah, unbelievable. The fans were unbelievable today. Um, that's what you want to play out in front of every week, week in, week out. Um, yeah, and as I said, their support just like carried us through. Really, um, yeah, unreal. When you're coming up against players like Ben Foster, James McLean out there, it kind of shows where the squad's at, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think as as you said, like we could, we should have taken all three points today, um, and I think that just shows what what the team we're building um, to go out there and put on a performance like that today. What about the competition for places in the back line? We're going to have to play Ryan Johnson at left back a little bit more now, aren't we? By the looks of it. <laughs> but don't tell him that. No. Um, no. Yeah. He's uh, he's been excellent when he's been there. Pierce has been excellent. Uh, Oggs has been excellent. Brownie was excellent when he came on today. So great competition for places. as it's exactly what we want. That's something we're working on as well. Just defending as a unit, as a whole team, um, and we pride ourselves on keeping clean sheets as well. So um, yeah, definitely, it's been good. Seems to be a really strong team spirit amongst us all now. Absolutely, uh, and I think that's key, um, especially in a league where there may be tight games, there may not be a lot between teams on certain weekends. I think that team spirit and that, that togetherness is going to be massive for the group. And I think we showed that today, and I think the fans are properly involved in that as well.
games coming thick and fast. Colchester United next on Tuesday night now. Yeah, they are coming uh, quick to be fair. Um, it's all about just rest and recovery now. Make sure that we're from when the when the whistle goes on uh, Tuesday night, we're ready for it. Yeah, it's, it's a busy month, but I think we want that now. There's feels like there's a real me uh, momentum within the group. Um, the the more the games come, the, the better for us. I think we're, we're really confident.